Ryan Ham here, and uh, what I have here is a, a piston, a uh, Nielsen device, uh, whatever you want to call it, booster I think is another word for it, uh, made for the Silencer Co. Osprey or the SWR Octane pistol. And what a booster does is it, uh, it uh, pushes the suppressor forward while the gun recoils so that you can put a heavy suppressor on a gun that relies on inertia which otherwise probably would not operate with all that weight up front. But if you don't want to put it on a pistol that relies on recoil uh, and you, uh, uh, for instance, a blowback uh, rifle or, or something like that, then what you need to do is you need to deactivate the, the piston. So in order to do that, the companies sell spacers that go around the, the piston uh, and they keep the piston from moving back and forth. Well, on the Octane and the Osprey or Osprey, the pistons can be deactivated with the use of common hardware. There's actually very little to do to, uh, to modify these. This is a three quarter to five eighths inch reducer coupling. And when, when you go to get one of those, you have to ask for just that, a three quarter to five eighths inch reducer coupling for copper pipes. Uh, this one I've, I've modified just a little bit and I'm, I'm actually gonna deburr it and take this little edge off here too. Uh, won't hurt the function and it'll just, just make it look better. This is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, it's a little bit harder to find. I could not find this at my local Lowe's. I had to go to a plumbing supply warehouse. Uh, this I could find at my local Lowe's. This is a three quarter inch uh, coupling not a reducer coupling, just a regular three-quarter inch coupling. Now the three-quarter inch isn't actually any dimension on the <laughs> on the uh, uh, or on the the uh, what do you call it the <laughs> the coupling at all. Uh, but it just so happens that a three-quarter inch coupling will fit around and, and work just fine as a spacer. You know, you can you can see there's a little bit of slop here, and it just felt kind of awkward. It'll work, I believe. My Suppressor is still in BATF jail, uh, but that wasn't quite as elegant as, as what I wanted. So I ended up getting the reducer. The, uh, the reducer is nice in that it fits perfectly. The inside does happen to be the 5 8 inch size, and believe it or not, on the inside happens to be almost perfect. Uh, the, the deal is that they've, they've crushed this little uh, area in here. Uh, so up to here, it's fine. It's it's three quarter inches on the inside, uh, but that little area there they crushed it in. And what that's meant for is it's meant as a stop. So you push the pipe in there and it'll stop there. And and, and as you're as you're sweating the uh, uh, the uh, lead into uh, into the joint there or the solder into the joint, it won't go that way. Well, on a reducer fitting, it doesn't really matter because even if it does go that way, it's not butting up against anything. It's not hurting the joint anyway. Uh, so uh, I don't think they're really necessary, but they still make them that way. If possible, ensure that you get a fitting, a 5 8 inch to 3 quarter inch uh, reducer coupling. Ensure you get one without this feature, if possible. I couldn't, but I knew I had a 3 quarter inch drill at home. The diameter of this piston right here is exactly 3 quarters of an inch. Uh, so that worked out perfectly, perfectly for me. And I, uh, I just uh, ran the drill bit down in there, kind of chattered it up a little bit because there's no real way to hold this steady while you're, while you're doing the drill bit thing. I didn't want to clamp it in the vise because I didn't want to distort it any. But my intent is to run it either like this or probably more so like this. And I have to cut it down. I don't know exactly what length because I don't have one of the, what is it, 60 or $80 Maybe it's closer to $40. Anyways, it's an absurd amount of money to pay for when I paid less than $2 for this and exactly $1 plus tax for this. Uh, it's silly to pay all that amount of money. So this is going to work fine for me. It, it stays in there. It's elegant. I'm going to cut it down to whatever length I end up needing. And uh, I'll probably drill relief holes to roughly match where these are uh, to allow the pressure to, to go around and, and build up in, in this little chamber here. 
um, but that's not really necessary. Uh, it's copper, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna corrode, uh, but uh, not really that bad. And and hey, I can just go out and get another one for two bucks. Um, throw throw it in with my uh, with my other suppressor parts once they get out of jail, and uh, should work just fine. Uh, all I'm doing all I'm doing now is I'm waiting for a. Uh, uh, a, a actual call on what length it has to be. If I had the suppressor, I could measure um, and make it just a little bit longer. You don't want to thread it all the way down because you don't. What you don't want, you want this to fill up the space completely in there, but you don't want there to be any gap because then the piston will still be moving around in there and it's going to batter up the inside of your suppressor. You don't want that. So if you found this informative, it's a very narrow market of people who are going to to look to be doing this. If you found this video informative, please like, favorite, subscribe, share, and or comment. And this is Ryan Ham. If you made it to this point in the video, uh, then uh, you could leave a comment with a question mark. If you're really confused about uh, what the what the uh, what this video is all about, it, you know you can do research on the internet. Uh, if you know me in my other videos, uh, I haven't gotten into class three yet. Uh, I'm just starting to right now. So they'll be there eventually. Subscribe if you want to see more. Surround Ham. Bye.